episode today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Bumblebee movie, Iron Hide. So let's get into the episode. So here we have uh, Iron Hide in here, which you, who looks like a redeco of Ratchet, except the head sculpt. Yeah, I hate redecos. Look, it's an Iron Hide figure. I love Iron Hide. Always the best. He's the best character in my book, always. Next to Optimus Prime. Well, I love Optimus Prime. So, yeah, here we have him in a Studio Series box. You know, standard Studio Series box. The window. Because no plastic is needed. Because there's enough plastic in this guy. And the plastic is very weak. I'm going to explain to you why the plastic is weak. <laughs> right, like, right now. So, let's just... And what I mean by the plastic is weak, I mean the plastic of this figure. Because if you could look... I'll just move that box out of the way. This is barely any force and it's just flop, 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 flop. <laughs> I hate flops. So yeah, that's, uh, oh, he's standing well. So yeah, let's get into talking about the figure, his size, and then my complaints about him. Yay. So we have Cliff Jumper right here. Look at him. He's very nice. Uh, he has a head sculpt. Let's talk about that. So details. Yay. So a head sculpt. Head sculpt is very nice. It, it looks mechanical, which I liked. Unlike the RC, it looked very real. I, I hate realistic. This was so realistic. So his body is basically just like Ratchet's body, you know, from the Bumblebee movie. The vehicle modes are the exact same. Transformations the same, you know. Except the re except the colors. I like the painting on this guy much more. Except. The, you know the plastic gray I, I don't like that but it is what it is he, he looks fine the painting is is a good let's say I have to be generous 5 out of 10 unlike the RC I reviewed which had like a bunch of scratches in the paint you know dots you know of pink instead of white yeah I complained about that so yeah, uh, otherwise, this figure is very nice. It has some good details in the feet, the back, the back. Mm, the back needs some more painting, but it is what it is. He's a good figure, I have to say that, except... Flop, yay, flop. There's a lot of flop in the legs, unlike the RC. So yeah, that's something I have to complain about. Now, let's talk about the accessories. Of course, he comes with a gun. Let me just... I think it's the same gun that Ratchet comes with. I don't know where I put Ratchet. I, I don't know. So yeah, let me just get the stupid gun out. Yeah, okay. Sorry, box thing. Sorry, I have his weapon. It is all black. The back is nice. There's not much in details here. So yeah, there's just storage, you know, in his hand. Of course, he can hold it. Yay. And then in the back here, where there's like, there's this, this place, you know, where it just tabs in like right, right here. Yeah, right here. But I just don't like how the gun is pointing upward, but not the hilt. So it doesn't just go grab it like this. Yeah, that's very disappointing, but it is what it is. I think it also happened on Ratchet since they both have the same mold. Now let's talk height. At least he stands. Seriously, the standing, he stands very well. But just here, just not so sturdy. The knees are great, I have to say that. The knees, 10 out of 10, I have to say that. Very sturdy knees. <laughs> Wait, do I have to talk about knees? Okay. Now, uh, it's, he's around 5 and 1 quarter of an inch. And to not my American friends, 13 and a half centimeters tall. Yay, so we got that out of the way, not much to talk about him, you know, he's overall a good figure. Now transformation, so transformation, what you do is just weapon. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is just pull this up, push this forward, then what we do is just unplug these, then we move them away, then we push them up, and we stay like that. Now we come down to the legs, We what we do is just turn them around. We do that and uh, what? Come on. So let's move that out of the way. So um, we do just do a 180 on the legs, so it could hold on like this. So we could do it. So this could be revealed. You know the moving wheel. And let's do the same thing on the other side. It's very dis disorienting looking at the camera while transforming him. I, I, uh, okay, here's the stuff I don't like about 
you know, doing these types of close-up shots. The transformation is very disorienting, you know. It's like you have two eyes, just, you know, one in the camera, one just looking above the camera. You know, it's very disorienting for me. So, yeah, I'll stop complaining. <laughs> okay, so what are we, we going to do? Now we're going to turn this around, and what we're going to do is just push this forward, and we just tap it into these two places. Then what we do is just turn this around. Okay, let's do that. Okay, you now, yep, we got that out of the way. Look at that. Very cool, very amazing. You know, just scratch its mold. Yeah, cool. Then what we do is just push the hands inside. You know, so we do this. Yay. Now what we do is just push this inward. Then what we do? Oh, yes, the legs have tabs in here. Where's the, where's the place where it tabs? All right, here you so what you do is just turn this around, you tab this inside there. So, yeah, epic, cool Fortnite. Why did I mention it? <laughs> I don't play Fortnite, so it's a dead game. I don't really like it. I didn't even like it anyway. Okay, after that rant. <laughs> okay, so let's put that in there. <sighs> okay, let's push that, and then we push this, and then boom. And then what you do is just see this, you just tap it inside here. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, 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 I no. So, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, just let me fix it. We're done. We're done. We're done. So, we're done. So, we're finito. So, here we have, um, I was going to say ratchet. Here we have Ironhide finished, done, boom, in his vehicle mode. Not much to talk about. And you don't have the back. I just like the back. The back is nice. I like the wheels, how they remind me of War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. You know those two games. Those were some good games. Until Rise of the Darks. I hate Rise of the Darks. Back. Probably one of the worst games ever. So yeah, here we have the sides. You got that. You got his normal paint job. You know, Ironhide's paint job. You know, that's cool. Epic. Yeah, that's basically it for that. Now, let's talk about accessories. So, le so the, not legs, what am I going to say? <laughs> legs. So, gun just stays on here. That's, that's that. That's how storage works on this figure. So, yeah, that's basically it for him. And, yeah, the only complaint about I have is just the hand doesn't stay in well. You know, just like, you know, it does that. But it's okay, he rolls. So, yeah, that's basically it for the episode. Let's get to the outro. So, that's basically it for the episode. So, yeah. Iron, this Iron Hat figure is, of course, a recolor, which is very sad. But it is what it is. He's Ironhide. We all love Ironhide. Especially me. Best character of all time. So, yeah, that's basically it for the review. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you have a good day. Peace.